it's time for the new split. My chest was not ready to hit this lift, but I decided to switch it up while I was in the shower before I came in here. So, the split, what I was thinking about was, okay, what are my flaws? So, we're gonna hit it back at least twice during the week, and we're gonna have a straight shoulder day with forearms. Two lacking muscles in my, my physique. Am I excited for it? Not really. It's a new new routine, so I kind of have to get in the groove of it. I mean, lifting's lifting. It's gonna be fun. But today we're gonna start with some chest and buys. I only like hitting chest and buys because whenever I hit triceps with, with chest, I feel like they're a little bit more fatigued since you know triceps at least 20% of chest. So plus whenever you get the, the chest pump with the buy pump, your whole upper body is just pumped. It feels good. Let's start this up. I'm sweating. It is time. set to start off this new lift. Ooh. Oh. I ain't gonna lie, I've completed about 50% of my homework this week, so I still have a lot left, and it's due Friday. It's kind of bringing me down, but I mean, I'm still here, I'm still gonna grind, I mean, do I want to do sit there and just grind away, or do I want to sit here and grind away? I'll let you guys decide that. And I think I'm already telling you what I want to do right here. is upside down so I hope you guys can still hear me and I mean I, I could flip it over but I don't want to get sweat all over it it keeps falling off every time I hit this one. we'll see where I can put it I can put it in my ear and my hair we'll work with it today Find my grip that I like. If you have shorter wingspan, put your finger at least a, an inch in from the grooves. Push in with your. You're, you're trying to bring in your your hands together. It really gets a contraction. Oh my god. Pre workout's killing me today. I believe that was three sets. So we're gonna go down to three, or three more, we're gonna do three more sets, but with 175, 185, whatever this is, 45 and a 25. We're gonna go as many reps as possible. I was thinking, I don't really care that I have a upper, or strong upper chest, so I want a bigger upper chest. What am I gonna do? I gotta just rep it out. I mean, strength will come with repage. Oh! 
about, I think it's the, the bench. I think I need a wider bench when I hit incline. Maybe I'm not engaging or pushing up my chest. Oh my God, I already have a pump going. Ooh, it's gonna be a nasty, nasty sight tonight. That was what I was saying. I feel like my, my shoulder, my rear delts sag over the bench a little too much. Or maybe, now thinking about it, now kind of examining what I'm doing, maybe I'm pushing up too much and kind of rounding my shoulders. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing this as hard as I can to get this up. My upper chest isn't as strong just because I neglect it so much. But last chest day, just hitting straight incline, absolutely marked my upper chest. It's never put in that much work in a, in a lift. So I know I at least got a little bit bigger right there. <sighs> themselves oh my god all oh, the real so the real i'm hitting up my barber tomorrow and tell him to give me that low taper fade my sideburns are in and low tapers look nice when it's growing out a little bit but not when it's kind of overlapping my ear like that it's disgusting what is happening right now look once you get a fresh fade fresh haircut even if you don't get fades you feel like a new man the next day it seems like you're walking on water like jesus christ you know splitting the red seats and that's how i'm gonna feel tomorrow when i'm walking around lifting what am i on tomorrow back i promise you it's gonna be a good lift decided to split up my arms because like I said arm day is so boring to me so why not split it up hit it with a more fun group like chest and what it, what it, what it, back and tries I don't even know my own split I wrote it down like I said like straight in the shower I was just like all right what should I do decided to do it it's a weird split but it definitely targets all my lacking points so I'm pretty excited to see what it is and I mean you don't have to switch up your split if you have your intensity up you know your, your work your your workload of choice but like me I get bored of the gym I get well not the gym I get bored of a gym that I've been to like this one I might have to switch it up I also get bored of the split it's kind of like a it's, it's like a reset if you know what I'm saying anyways I'm alternating with chest and buys just because my chest probably won't be as pumped up if I hit buys after and chest takes a lot of energy so I want to have energy for my for my buys too these these rip straps I'm telling you they're game changer they really take my forearms out of the equation any lift I use them on I uh, really feel that on my biceps and I just ripped out 40s for I don't even know how many reps I tend not to count but a lot more than I usually can do
Feeling the split. I feel like it's mostly upper body focused. I'm like a Tom Platts. I hit legs once, once a week. And for some reason my mind is a lot stronger on leg day just because I like having bigger legs. Now if you have bigger legs and a small upper body, you, no one can say anything to you because your, your quads are bigger than them. So hopefully I'm gonna hit forearms at least three times a week and back twice a week. Uh, yeah, those are that's 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 basically it. That's what I needed to say. So basically, hopefully I get wider. Oh, and shoulders. Hopefully I get wider, and just this whole upper half catches up to my lower. most fun I've had in a chest day in a while. Not from just PR and my the most weight, but hitting this with biceps really changes everything. I, I feel like really, really good contraction in my bicep because my, my forearms aren't fatigued as much from hitting chest. And you know, it, it's more fun to hit it with a, a compound lift type of day. Oh. with this bench because the seat doesn't really hold my weight so I keep sliding down but this is like perfect angle for the the, the incline stretch as I feel every rippage right now part of the reason why I don't want to switch gyms is I swear my body's like imprinted in all these benches I'm like that uh, what's that show called a regular show episode when we're gonna be sitting on the couch and Mordecai has to go look at Pops and he's naked. If you know, you know, that was peak episode. But like I said, man, my body's like imprinted in this, so I have a good fluid motion. If I switch benches, like this one is my first time using this bench in a couple of or a couple months, just because I tend to keep away from it. <sighs> So much harder than barbell. I think it's because they use my core a lot more. My stable, sta sta stabilizer muscles. Yeah, that's what it's called. I'm trying to out call smart. <laughs> Since I tend to always say that I'm gonna do incline curls, and I never do. Now I don't have an excuse to do it because I actually have to go hard on my arms. Because if I don't, then my bicep's gonna be lagging. So let's hit this. I don't I don't want to. This really makes me very uncomfortable because A, I don't know if I, because I know your arms are supposed to be behind you a little bit just to hit that, that short head. But when I go even farther back, I feel it all the way up into my belt. I don't think that's uh, optimal.
we're gonna have a nasty pump. <laughs> I just want to rep out as much as I can. I'm trying to focus on my upper chest. So I know once you get a, a bigger upper chest, your chest will be a lot fuller. I keep stating that because it's true. Most of the lifters that I know here hit straight incline. So we're gonna end off on two more flies because I got a steak waiting for my, at my house. My dad cooked it. You know that's on my mind, food. Especially on a bulk. Flies are going up. Let's go up. 150. Do I dare attempt the impossible? I say this about a bulk. Fast food is the way, but I'm telling you, when I actually mean this, it destroys your stomach. My stomach is making some, what's, what's an exotic word? Exotic sounds. Um, I don't know what's brewing down there, but every time I'm about to done, be done lifting, it's time to unleash the beast from within. <laughs> Bicep time. I'm about to hit rope curls, and my brachialis is gonna be like, Nani? Because I don't think I remember the last time I've ever hit the middle of my bicep. It's a new thing. This new split is a new me. Got the new trip. Gonna have a fresh haircut and a new routine. It's like a new man. So I just watched people's Snapchat stories, like these influencers. I swear, those mugs are in the, the craziest side quest. Like, what do they do? I swear they're having, like, they're fucking skiing, fucking in, I mean, on a beach. How do people, like, hit the gym, you know? I guess it's just me having no social life. So I just find it so odd for people to, be doing irrelevant things other than 
lifting some weights. <laughs> this up I don't want my dad mad at me Look, I put lifting in front of everything except when my dad's mad at me because I mean he's nice enough to to make me a steak so I gotta be a good son get home on time so I can congratulate him on how good the steak's gonna be so we're gonna spam these what is this inclined and then we're gonna kind of bend a little bit more down and go a little bit wider dip out of there rating probably a hundred out of a hundred I actually really 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 enjoyed that lift that was a good good little lift for the first day of this new split let's take the shirt off check this pump out I feel kind of massive from doing those flies I felt everything's rip oh my stomach okay let's take this off like actually mm. sweaty Ugh. Honestly, oh my goodness, let me get a little closer. The biceps are feeling it. I, that's as far as we can reach. Oh. I'm telling you, once you have a good chest pump and a good arm pump, because you're hitting your triceps when you hit chest. So in real reality, you're, you're hitting your tricep, but you're really going hard on the bicep, so your arm is just fully engaged. Wow. We look the same. <laughs> I mean, I can tell I'm pumped, but not enough. My pecs are getting a lot more rounder. And it's all because incline. Look at that. Oh, let's get out of here. Good lift. Happy steak. Uh, homework. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> 